Trucker Rudy here. I am on the final stretch to uh, Laredo, Texas right now. I uh, got probably another hour to go before I'm in Texas and it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day out here today. So I'm really excited to go down there. I haven't been there in I don't know who knows how long. I probably haven't been in Laredo in, in a year or two for sure. It's been a very long time so I'm excited to go down there and do my uh, three deliveries tomorrow morning. Hopefully that will go smoothly. And then uh, we'll see what we'll do from there. I don't have a reload yet. Uh, I don't expect to get one yet anyways till tomorrow. Because uh, today is Sunday so uh, yeah, most dispatchers are at home. Especially our southern dispatchers they are at home. They, they only have the central dispatchers working so we uh, generally get either a load on Saturday or we have to wait till, till Monday generally so but that's yeah, okay hopefully uh, we'll, we'll see uh, how, how my deliveries go first before we will worry about a reload I guess hopefully that will go smoothly and uh, I can get everything off tomorrow and hopefully I won't be a hassle getting stuff off there I don't know I don't know how their places are. I, like I said, I haven't been there in a long time, so sometimes uh, you get unloaded quickly, and then next time you have to wait a couple hours before you get unloaded. So we'll see how things go tomorrow. And uh, according to my satellite, it says, uh, well, like on my satellite message, it says that uh, the uh, last place I'm delivering to uh, is only open till 12 noon but I don't know if that's true or not I, I'll have to find out tomorrow but hopefully I can get everything off before that but uh, you never know how things go right but anyways uh, just got uh, got started so uh, we'll see what happens today I'm going to go through uh, Dallas today and uh, that's always a big city so Maybe I'll uh, get to film some of them uh, really high overpasses. Like they got a bunch of overpasses on top of each other. So I, I'm going to see if I can film that or if I'm going by those big ones that I've gone by before. And then you guys can see uh, what I see here on the road and uh, see them big overpasses. I know, I know where I come from, like South America. We didn't have any overpasses. At least I've never seen any area that I lived in so uh, especially the people that are back from my home country uh, they're going to find this real interesting you know because they've never seen anything like that never mind just one overpass over over the highway uh, they, they never seen like uh, five or six overpasses on top of each other so they love to see stuff like that so uh, I'm gonna see if I can get that on tape and we'll uh, see how that goes just have a look at this beautiful casino that they got here on the left that's uh, that's a probably a lot of money that they spent building this casino here I I'm pretty sure of that they uh, got all kinds of interesting structures built onto it. it looks pretty nice love to go there one day but just check it out must be beautiful inside there have a look at this beautiful structure that they bought built here on the left not sure what exactly it is but oh that's that sign for that uh, Vegas uh, or, or that casino thing that they got back there that we just passed that I showed you guys now I guess if you come from Texas you can see the big advertisement sign up there for the casino welcome to Texas I haven't seen that sign in a long time. Now there is a big overpass right here. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but... Uh... Now this is what I was telling you guys about earlier. This is in the Fort Worth, Texas. And you got one overpass over the other, so... That's always... Uh interesting at least to me and to some folks that never seen that many overpasses so I figured I I show that and, uh, give you guys
place an idea on where I drive and uh, and what it looks like so it looks uh, to me it's beautiful it's beautiful design and it's just you know you gotta watch where you're going otherwise you get lost up here but yeah well I got a GPS actually I got two GPS's but I've been down this road many times already so uh, I sort of know where I'm going Alrighty, just finished breakfast up here in uh, Waco, Texas, I believe it's called. It's W A C O. Continue on this road for 38 and, uh, miles. Just leaving that right now. I uh, just figured a beautiful overpass Continue is up 38 here again. Miles on so I, 35 south. Figure I uh, show you these huge overpasses up here. So, anyways, uh, putting the hammer down, uh, going towards Laredo. Going to be in Laredo tonight. Supposed to be uh, nice and warm down there, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what kind of temperature we get up there. But right here, it's uh, a little bit cloudy. Uh, I had a little bit of drizzle earlier this morning, but right now it's it's not raining or not. So, but anyways, we'll get uh, get rolling and see how things go. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see that uh, Peterbilt up there, the red one up there. That's a pretty cool looking truck. It's got a uh, low suspension, it's got three axle, everything chromed up. It's got an oversized load and everything on there. But uh, anyways, uh, I just got down to uh, Laredo here a little while ago. And uh, like it was like 10 to 6 or whatever. And uh, I went over to the Flying J and guess what that flying j was already packed there wasn't a parking spot available so i went across the street to the ta and luckily i got me a parking spot up here but uh yeah i was pretty packed up there at the flying j so a couple of spots left here at the ta at uh, six o'clock in the afternoon you know but i guess everybody's uh getting in here for tomorrow morning deliveries i guess in laredo so uh but anyways, uh, I'll uh, probably cut this for today and then uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 5 a.m.